Okay, so we're going to consider brackets and factorization now. So let's start off with single brackets. So the key thing to remember is that when you have a bracket and you wish to expand it, you need to multiply everything inside the bracket by the number outside the bracket. So to illustrate this, let's consider the first example. 5 brackets x plus 6, close brackets. So we do 5 times x to give 5x and 5 times 6 to get 30. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Minus 2, brackets 2x plus 4. So expanding this gives minus 4x minus 8, as we do minus 2 times 2x to give minus 4x, and minus 2 times 4 to give minus 8. The equation is used to show that two mathematical quantities are equal. Linear equations are equations in which the variable x is raised to the power 1 only. Linear equations are solved by using the following methods. Adding the same amount to both sides of the equation, subtracting the same amount from both sides of the equation, multiplying both sides of the equation by the same amount, and dividing both sides of the equation by the same amount. So let's look at the equations eight. So the first let's thing look at dimensional formula now. If we take L as being length, L squared as being area, and L cubed as being volume, then a formula with a mixed dimension is impossible. So for example, L squared plus L cubed is impossible, as a dimension greater than 3 is impossible. Null quantities are numbers, including pi and any letters that just stand for numbers or fractions. So if we take a formula and replace letters with L and remove null quantities, then we're able to determine if the formula is for area, volume,